Hey guys, happy Friday. So I wanted to make a quick video today and talk to you guys a little bit about how to stay on track on the weekend. And I've made this video before, um, kind of with the same sort of tips, um, but I have a bunch of new friends and I have people that message me. And I made a video yesterday in my accountability group um, that sort of touched on some of the topics. So I figured I'd share with you guys too. So it's really hard um, in general to stay on track during the weekends, but especially during the summer because we're obviously going to barbecues and events and all this fun stuff. And if you've set your mind to a goal of losing weight or getting more toned or just being healthier in general, it can be really hard to stick to that um, when you have all this temptation around you. So um, uh, the first tip that I wanted to give you was changing what you're saying to yourself. And I've spoken to people that um, that have used this before, that listened to me before, and they said it's helped them. So um, for all of you new people that are here, um, hopefully it'll do the same for you. And what it is is changing your mindset. So seeing things that you would want, that you know that are not conducive to the goal that you have, um, is really telling yourself, instead of saying, I can't have that and creating restriction, saying to yourself, I don't want that, and reminding yourself why you don't want that. I don't want to have that because I'm you know, in the process of losing, losing 10 pounds. I I don't want to have that because I'm in the process of getting healthier so I can have more energy with my kids. I, you know, I don't want that because I know that it's not going to align with what it is that I'm trying to achieve. So saying things like that versus I can't have that, it's not on my list, I can't, I can't have that, it's, it's not approved. You know, things like that are going to tell your mind the opposite. You know, we always want what we can't have. There's a reason for that. So it's the same psychology when you're um, looking at food. You want to be saying, you know, telling your subconscious and telling your mind, you know, I don't want that. Getting healthy and getting fit is a mindset. Okay, anybody can hand you a meal plan, anybody can hand you workout programs, anybody can hand you shakes, I can do what all those things for you. But if I don't train you and I don't um, teach you how to change your mindset about how you're looking at food, you're going to follow these things for a few weeks and then you're going to go back to the way that you were. So really focusing on your mindset and what you're telling yourself about this food. Um, and, and, and even when push people are pushing it on, you say, oh, just have it. You know, I, I'm obviously taking care of myself so people will say to me oh well just have it because you know you're, you're fine you're yeah and nothing's gonna change overnight I'm not gonna have a piece of bread or a macaroni salad or a potato salad and magically gain 10 pounds overnight and lose my tone and all that stuff but what can happen is I can go into Sunday and I could say oh well I did it yesterday so I might as well just have it today and then Monday will come and I'll say oh well you know what I screwed up on the weekend, what's another day? And then before I know it, it can be Thursday, and I've followed basically everything I did over the weekend, and I've had to start over again. This hasn't happened in a really long time, um, but that is what I see happen sometimes in my groups with women, so we're really trying to, to get out of that, um, that cycle and that habit, and because that's what it is. So again, really saying to yourself, I don't want that, it's not good for me, it doesn't make me feel good. And listen, if you're going to have it, I am never that person that's like, don't have anything, don't have the treats, uh, deprive yourself. No, I enjoy myself on the weekends, but I do it in moderation. I am control. I am in control of what's on my plate. My plate does not control me. So if I'm going to enjoy something, I'm going to enjoy it in moderation. Say, okay, this is great. I'm not going to go back three, four times. I'm not going to grab everything like it's the first time I've ever seen food in my life. You know, I'm going to enjoy what I have and say, okay, I'm doing this for right now, and that's it. I plan for the day. I put up a lot of posts like that too. If I know that I'm going somewhere where I may not eat as good as I usually do. I plan out my day. Maybe I work, I do work out a little bit harder. Or maybe I'm doing a detox in the morning so that, you know, during the afternoon my, my digestive system is a little bit better. But really um, having this vision, having this goal in your mind of what you're trying to achieve and reminding yourself of that. You know, I wake up every morning to a vision board, and one of the things on that vision board is the body of a female that um, I desire. And I'm on my way to that, and I'm getting there. Um, but when I wake up, especially because I do my workouts first thing in the morning, to see that, it just it keeps me on track. It reminds me why I'm doing this. So if you've got to do that, um, and you've got to, and this goes for men too, if you've got to put a picture of your ideal body um, on your phone, and when you really feel like, not that you're, again, not going to not enjoy yourself, but when you feel like, oh, I'm, I'm going to gorge right now, I'm going to go crazy, 
grab your phone, look at the picture, remind yourself of your why, remind yourself why you're, you're, you're on this path to your goals and why you want to, you know, feel healthier and look better and, and all of these things that come along with choosing a healthy lifestyle, okay? Not a quick fix, but a lifestyle. This is a lifestyle. This is not something that you're just going to do for two weeks. Okay, if you're choosing this for your life, it's going to be every little thing that you decide is going to lead up to big results. It doesn't just happen overnight. So looking at that picture and saying, okay, what would this person do? If they were in this situation, would they grab everything on this table or would they just grab a few things and get a workout in later? Okay, so you, and if you want what other people have, you have to do what other people are doing. Um, and you have to hold that vision for yourself and remind yourself why you're doing what you're doing and remind yourself of your goals consistently to the point where it just becomes easy to make better decisions. So I hope this helps. If you guys have any questions, you can comment below. Feel free to share um, and enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your weekend in moderation. Enjoy your weekend with your goals and your vision in your head of what it is that you're trying to achieve. And don't let it snowball into the rest of the week. All right, so I hope everyone has a good one.